I'm Frank Mir, and I have the most fights in the UFC heavyweight division, and these are three of my favorite. Number three was UFC 48 against Tim Sylvia. I was a heavy underdog. Tim Sylvia at the time was undefeated. He was such a, a dominating champion. Frank Mir, Tim Sylvia. This is where Frank Mir wants to be. This is his spot. I was able to decisively win the fight by taking his arm. I submitted him in 50 seconds. Wow, Tim Sylvia is complaining. That fight is good. That fight now. It's not over, man. Honestly, that fight, it wasn't the greatest victory just because there was a lot of controversy at the end of it. It wasn't a great feeling until about an hour later when they confirmed that it was a proper stop. Tim's okay. He's going to have to have some surgery on his arm. But ladies and gentlemen, the new heavyweight champion of the UFC, Frank Mir. The fact that it was confirmed, it was a great stoppage. That was when I finally felt time to go celebrate. My second favorite fight was UFC 81, where I faced newcomer Brock Lesnar. It was looked at MMA versus pro wrestling, and I had to represent. You cannot discount the size and power of this world-class athlete. It wasn't until the week of the fight that I realized the kind of pressure that was on me. This guy's a national champ wrestler. This guy's a pretty good athlete. He's going to come in here and do very well in MMA. How long will it take for Lesnar to go for a takedown? About five seconds. In that fight, I overcame a lot of power and speed. I realized that, you know, as long as the fight was still going on, at any moment you can win through knockout, through submission. I just decided to stay patient and look for a, a weakness, knowing that he'd only been training submissions for a couple years, that I would take advantage of that. It was a great feeling to go out there and come through and grab a guy and show the submissions work on everybody regardless of strength and power. It's all about technique. He always had the strength and power, but then the technique was where it was lacking. And that's where I was able to capitalize upon and, and submit him. It was definitely a career-defining moment for me. My favorite all-time fight in the UFC has been uh, UFC 140 when I faced Nogueira for the second time. He was the first Pride heavyweight champion. He is the only man in history to hold the Pride and UFC heavyweight belts. The reason I love the fight so much is it really encompasses what a lot of qualities I'd like to pass on to my children and people watching me. It caught me early on, and actually I was fighting from behind. Oh, some big trouble. Huge trouble. I stayed on and persevered and made sure that I just scrambled through the maneuvers and kept looking for ways to win. I was able to reverse him and sweep him and get on top and then catch his arm in a submission and uh, very decisively was able to turn around and win the fight. Not by grinding and not winning a decision, but by actually finishing it, finishing in a very highlight fashion. And that fight actually won me a uh, submission of the year. Unbelievable submission victory for Frank Mir. At first I was very proud to win the submission over Noguera, especially being how highly touted he was in the jiu-jitsu arena. The guy was a black belt when I started jiu-jitsu. But then it was a little bit taken away just because of uh, the fact I realized he was injured. At that point the competitive part of the fight is over with. And now it's just one athlete to another and I see someone who's injured. And uh, you know, that kind of took away from the victory. This Saturday I'm fighting Andre Olaski. I feel that uh, you know he's extremely quick and fast and mobile on his feet. Oh! Arlovsky push it forward. I think that he's going to try to avoid any power shots for me and avoid any takedowns and shots. So I think it's going to be a lot of moving and a lot of high action footwork. Play!